A local food truck has fallen victim to another catalytic converter theft. They can bring in some big money for thieves, but as News 8's Nina Burns shows us, these thefts can be crippling to a small business. When owner of Soul to Soul Catering Food Truck, Phyllis Harris, walked out of her residential home. My sister came out to start it up and it was like this loud boom. I happened to contact the mobile mechanic to see what was going on. And he came out on Friday and he knew right away he got under there. The truck's catalytic converter, nowhere to be seen. It's not safe. You know, to think, like I said, that someone's creeping around your property, you know. Someone cut the converter out from underneath the truck, parked just two feet away from Harris's garage. But it's just so disheartening. It just really broke me down mentally to think that someone would come on your property and do this. Or just to think that they're doing this period and there's no way to catch them. The converter will take roughly $700 to replace. But Harris, who invested in this truck two years ago, says the expenses of running a small business are adding up fast. Food, I have to shop on a budget. Food and gas, going to the stores, and most people will pick up, you know, but if I have to drive it, deliver it. Fearing what happens even after it is replaced. If we replace it, who's to say they're not coming back? I've been trying, we've been trying to work through our mind to see a type of way to protect it. We used to have a six foot fence here, but still all they do is crawl, just crawl under there. Harris will take it a day at a time, hoping to have the money for a replacement by summer. My theme is soul food that's good for the soul. So we'll come up with something. We're not quitters. In Moline, Nina Burns, WQED News 8. If replacing that converter ends up being outside of her financial means, she'll consider some other options like a mobile food cart.